Let's prove that root 2 is irrational. What do I mean by irrational? It means it is a number that goes on forever. For example, pi, 3.14159265, etc, 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 goes on forever. How do I prove that applies to root 2? Well, I'm going to use proof by contradiction, and I'm initially going to say that root 2 must equal a fraction, a over b. Why is that? Because if you divide one number by another, you cannot end up with a set of numbers that do not repeat and go on forever, and that is irrationality. So I'm also going to assume that I can't simplify this fraction. You'll see why later. Right, let's square both sides. So I get 2 on the left, and on the right, I get a squared over b squared. So then I'm going to rearrange this into 2b squared equals a squared. Now, 2 times any number must equal an even number. So if a squared is even, a is even. Why is this important? Well, if a is even, then that means that a is equal to 2n. And if I go back to this equation here, then that means that if a is equal to 2n, 2b squared is equal to 2n all squared. Bit of rearranging, and I get that b squared is 2n squared over 2, and this also proves that b has got to be even. Therefore, b is also even. Now, if a and b are both even, if I divide them, well, a divided by b is a fraction that can be simplified. Why can it be simplified? Because it's, they're both even. They both have a factor of 2. So I can pull out a factor of 2 in both of them and simplify this fraction. But then I'm going to have to do it again. Let's go through this whole thing again, and suddenly I get that a over b is still even, which means it can still be simplified, which means I have to simplify it again. I am stuck in an infinite loop, and when I'm stuck in this infinite loop, I have proven that root 2 is irrational.